This is question number two, and this is from Snyder and Nicholson, chapter three. It says uh, in the footnote we showed that in order for utility function of two goods to have strictly diminishing MRS, the following condition must hold, and the condition is given to you. This is the condition that you have. Use this condition to check the convexity of the indifference curve for each of the utility functions described in problem 3.1. Describe any shortcuts you discovered in this process. Now, in order to do this, let's begin with what were the utility functions given in 3.1. So the first utility function that you had was u of xy is equal to 3x plus y. Now it says that if you have to check that something has a diminishing MRS, it must hold this condition. This condition must be satisfied. I want to check whether this condition is in fact satisfied or not. So what is my condition? That is given F2 square F11 minus 2 F1 F2 2 f12 plus f1 square f22 and this should be less than 0. Let's quickly check this out. So I am going to double differentiate this function. So when I differentiate this with respect to y, I get 1. When I differentiate it again with respect to y, I will get 0. Do you understand? When you differentiate this with respect to y, understand that this 2 stands for y. Okay, now, uh, you know, when I differentiate this once with respect to y, I am getting 1 when I differentiate this. And understand that if I am going ahead and I am saying this part, this means I'm differentiating it with respect to x, but not once, twice. You getting it? So when I differentiate this with respect to x once, this is called f1. This is 3. When I differentiate f1 again with respect to x, it is called f11. Because there is no x here, I will get 0. Okay. Is that making sense? So you will get for this part, you will get 0. Now just see here. When I differentiated this with respect to x just once, f1. This was 3. So minus 2 into 3 into. When I differentiated this with respect to y, I got 1. So 1 into. When I differentiate, this is f12. So, you know, when you differentiate this with respect to x, you get f1. And when you differentiate this again, but with respect to y, so when you differentiate f1, with respect to y, you get f12. If I differentiate this with respect to y, I will get 0. There is no y present, right? So into 0. Plus, so just see this. This is f22, which means I have to differentiate what I got with respect to y again with respect to y. So I will get 0 because there is no y present here. So plus 0. This entire thing is 0. This is zero so it said that it says that if quasi concavity has to hold true let me just give you the official definition of quasi concavity so quasi concavity is uh, is given by this formula and it says that if it has to hold true then this must be less than zero but we just found out that this is not less than 0. So we can say that therefore the function is not quasi quantity. Is that clear? It's not 
was I confused. Now, note that we must know when is a function quasi concave. So please write down. For a utility function, to have strictly diminishing MRS, it should be strictly quasi concave. A function is strictly quasi concave if the following. Condition and what's the condition? 